Hi, hey guys, welcome back to Final Fantasy VIII. This is episode 10. We are in Diling City, playing as Laguna and various others. That's part of a dream, I think. That's Squall's having. Alright, so I know there's a I want, um, there's a book over there, as I can see. Alright. Alright, we're not allowed to walk on down there, so this was the wrong way. As far as I can tell. And can't hit that, and there's no way over here. I'm guessing we can back hit the door. I'm assuming that's the wrong way for now, but I do know it is used um, later on, I think. We have to go this way. We will go see what's over here. Alright, so there is some sort of city here. City area. We're now in the hotel. Nope. That's not the, the correct way there. I so they're not to the degree on what direction I have to go. Because I have absolutely no idea at this point in time. But there is traffic everywhere. Are we actually stuck here? Yeah, we're actually stuck here, so I'm assuming that's the direction fix. Yep. So we're now stuck to this area. Which means that this is the only way possible to go. So we'll come in here. Alright, so I did get it. I suppose it likes you out like that to make sure you're going in the proper direction. Maybe there was a bit of text I missed that said go to the hotel. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. Alright, so. I'm assuming this is where he falls in love with his woman. Yep. So hopefully this doesn't take too long and we can go back to being Squall because yeah this whole side stuff's hard to follow early in the game it doesn't explain a lot about it you know it just doesn't explain it I am come on 
All right, so we go back here and I'm probably going to make fun of him. Yep. Say what you want, man. Jolly Show is pretty, 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 pretty. She pretty. We're gonna we're taking off. The last night last that while. Alright, so the woman actually comes over to talk to him. And he's still limping. Alright, so he breaks his leg towards the woman. Yep, that's natural. <laughs> and the music in this game is so good. Happens all the time when he gets nervous. <laughs> Yeah, he kind of just dropped himself in that one. That's what you want to say as your opening line. Yeah, my leg goes dead because I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Yeah. Pretty hard to talk freely, everyone's listening. If you like to, yeah. Alright, so I asked for a room at the front desk. This is a dream, obviously, because Squall turned into that guy. Laguna or someone. So their weapons were really cool. Zor. And this guy isn't some sort of secret, is he? No. It would have been a secret. Square Enix loves the secrets. Alright, here we are. Here we go. Yeah, so he sits on the bed, changes his mind. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. I haven't even talked to him. He's a big fan of yours, he's really nervous. Yeah, she breaks out the drink, and obviously everybody knows where that leads. Hint, hint. Yeah. See? It's happening around me. It's already happening. And the next thing you know, she's gonna lie down. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Alright, please, Laguna, shut the fuck up. Man, this side shit is taking too long. I know it's part of the game, but it doesn't really make much sense, you know, to drop the player in this early. As Laguna, you'd need some sort of backstory reference beforehand. And there wasn't any. It just drops you in. As a Laguna? Yeah, you are dreaming dude. If it's too good to be true, it probably is.
Tanrı Beyler. Alright, so the train is about to stop at Timber, finally. As soon as these ones want to stop talking. I had a dream, it wasn't nice, yeah. We all have a dream, dude. I saw you. Yeah, yeah Squall's dreaming about the dinner. Seems legit. I can't wait to get onto this too when a lot of this talking stuff stops. Don't get me wrong, I like uh, Final Fantasy, but in this one in particular, there is a lot of text talking. The arms are still around, I believe it is. Some sort of woman here. Here's a guy. Alright. This way. So we're getting on a second train. This train is smaller, so it's probably an inner city train. Yep, introductions. Nice to meet you. No idea who this guy is. It's the guy in the blue hat, obviously. play a game of cards with this guy just so that this episode isn't completely useless alright so yeah remember right give me this thing he's gonna flip out with T-Rex sir yeah I'm not doing that why is there an icon on this one? Alright, we'll do this. He's unable to flip it. And... Yeah, I'll flip that. He'll flip it. We'll flip it. And then 
I will flip with this. He'll flip with the T-Rexer. I actually thought he was going to go the other way, but it's fine. There we go. With SARS. Uh, this thing's good all around. We'll play him one more time again. And he plays a bomb. I completely forgot about the bomb. I'm gonna win again. I'll take this. By the way, these cards are items, which is why I'm playing so much. Just in case people were wondering. He's playing shit now. That was really easy. Alright, we'll play one more time and I'll see you then. This will be episode 10. Not a very fun filled episode, unfortunately. Oh, he's got a Wendigo and an Adamantois. Adamantois would be really nice. Flip, flip. Alright, there we go. I'm pretty sure he's got a rare card though. He definitely should have a rare card. No? Okay. Alright then. What? He's going to Zell. <laughs> and I get an achievement to the. Yeah. I got an achievement to lose a rare card. That was. That's bad. Let's see this. Bomb. Yeah, good luck winning this one, dude. Oh my. He's not playing Zell. What the fuck's top left? What is that? I'm not flipping it. I'll just let it sit there. Wow. Go for it. Give me two. I have no idea what that same rule was though. That was a little weird. But I got Angela. Apparently, it's a dog of some sort. I need to get my Zell card back. <laughs> Just uh, remove my bomb again because I'm not losing this one. Where's my? There it is. And there. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm picking an equal amount of points so I can win all over the board. That's the idea. Make it really hard for him to hold down cards.
We just got that seven. There we go. And then he's got that seven on the left. For fuck's sake. Seriously, dude? I definitely want my Zelda card back before I stop this. He's just not playing it again. Yeah, he'll take out a flip of Angelo. Alright, I'll take this. And you're gonna play my Zell, eventually. This episode is gonna be quite a while. Or not, he's playing it now. Just gonna see this card. Play more about it. Obviously he's gonna flip it straight away. Alright, and then you can flip two. Why does that keep happening? What is the same? I don't understand the same. That's bullshit. It's unfair. I just lost my app for a card. Fuck. Angelo Bomb. Waterboro, Chimera. Adamantois. Now he's playing both of them. It's gonna just keep on getting harder and harder for me to win. Why did I not get to see him? Is this the same? Is that what it means? Nope. That's not what it means. Side. Fuck. Yeah, because he's getting all that fancy special bullshit. Right, I'm just going to go up. I'm gonna save the game here, people. Um, people. Yeah, I'm gonna save the game here. Thanks for watching this episode 10. Kind of a boring episode, lost a bunch of cards. Hopefully, we can get some back in the next episode. But anyway, I like the video. I do appreciate it. Subscribe. You'll get updated with all my new content. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.